See that line where the sky meets the sea? It calls me. No one knows how far it goes. If the wind and my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know. If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go. How far I'll go. This is from the movie Moana. And uh, this is one of the more doable Disney songs. Because to be honest, Disney songs, of course, they're so popular with kids and I love them. But so many of them are really, really difficult. This one is very doable. It's not super easy. It's, it's doable with a little bit of work and much, much easier if we have a capo at the fourth fret. So this is my guitar. One, two, three, fourth fret. Put that capo there, make sure it's sounding good with all the strings ringing out as it is there. And then this would all become essentially chords that work well with C. The main part of this would be the chorus where we have the chords C, G, A minor, and then any way you know how to play an F, which I would recommend is much easier, F major 7 option played like this and that first finger is just right where it is on a on a C chord it's essentially a C chord with these two fingers down here that's the way I would be playing an F as soon as we start integrating that into our playing you know how to play that chord you can play more songs basically this is where the amount of songs if you know the tricks that we're going to work through here the amount of songs you can do quadruples and we're going to have a full play along because i love this song so much we're going to have a full play along at the end of this video singing through all the verses and everything and showing you how i would do it so the chorus would be see that line where the sky meets the sea to a g it calls me a minor and then F. With the G, some people prefer to do this way of playing a G, which might be very new to you, but it's very good for changing between the C and the G. So using fingers two, three, and four in exactly the same place as they were before. If that's new to you, you can use entirely whichever one you want. I just need to make you aware of it because it's so, so useful. See that line where the sky meets the sea, it calls me. And no one knows how far it goes. If the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know. If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go. So this is our substitution, so our little cool change, for an F minor chord. F minor, really big and scary. This way of playing an F minor chord, quite easy if we can squash down the thinnest three strings, which the capo makes a lot easier. Uh, we're going to play the from string four, and we're going to strum down like that. Beautiful sounding chord in context. Let's work through the other chords in this song, because there are a few tricky ones and there are a lot of them but we've now covered all these in the previous lessons in this series. So this is just I'm using this song as an example to show you what you can go off and learn if you followed through everything so far and some things you may need as a refresher or a recap on if you haven't got them already. So the verses would be C, D minor, which we covered in Moves Like Jagger, A minor, and then however you want to play an F, we're going for this easy F major 7, the F like a C. I've been staring at the edge of the water Long as I can remember Never really knowing why We have that again and one strum is absolutely fine. I wish I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water No matter how hard I try then we have a pre-chorus, which in the UK and some parts of Europe we call a bridge, but I think calling it a pre-chorus will be the best way to go for this because it comes before the chorus. We have an A minor. Every turn I take, every trail I track. Then we want the B minor chord that we did. Um, oh, 
Golly, which tutorial was it now? My mind's gone blank. It was in Don't Stop Believing in the last, uh, in lesson 10. Every trail I trake, every, every path I make, every road leads back, and then C major, and then the F minor that we've gone for before. We could do that F minor if we can squeeze fingers one, two, and three into that first fret. Or squeeze it down like that. Either way, we're holding there. One, two, three, as best we can. That again was A minor. Every path I take, every trail I track. B minor like this way of playing it, so it's B minor seven, really. Every path I make, every road leads back. C. To the place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. And that's where we go to the chorus and we're strumming on every beat. Up till then, one strum per chord is fine. That chorus was C, G, A minor and F so far. That's it, if you're up for the challenge, let's go for the full playthrough now from the very top of the song. Let's go from the C chord. Ready? One strum of each chord. In two, three, four. C, D minor. A minor. And F. Keep that going. I've been staring at the edge of the water Long as I can remember Never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water No matter how hard I try Next section, A minor Every turn I take, every trail I track Every path I make, every road leads back To the place I know where I cannot go Where I long to be Four strums per chord, starting from the C Two, three. See the line where the sky meets the sea. It calls me. No one knows how far it goes. If the wind and my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know. If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go. Then to a verse, here we go, in two, three. I know everybody on this island seems so happy on this island. Everything is by design. And I know everybody on this island has a role on this island. So maybe I can roll with mine. A minor bit. I can lead with pride, I can make us strong I'll be satisfied if I play along But the voice inside sings a different song What is wrong with me? Chorus 2, 3, 4 See the light as it shines on the sea It's blinding but No one knows how deep it goes and it seems like it's calling out to me So come find me Let me know What's beyond that line? Will I cross that line? Now, in the original song There's something called a key change there Where all those chords suddenly move a semitone higher So the equivalent of one fret higher That would make the first chord now a C sharp And there's just no way we can play that With the tricks we're using with the capo What we're going for here So that's where I'll finish this little tutorial Where we've gone through two verses and two choruses And uh, to make up for it I'll do a full cover as a separate video So that you have something to play along to When you're practicing this um, But yeah, so many Disney songs Key changes in all of them 
uh, and instrumental sections. It does make a lot of the more fun ones, I'm afraid, just a little bit too hard to play. But I hope that's been a bit of fun for you. And as I say, I'll upload a separate video to do the cover up to there so you can see what's happening and you can play along in your own time. I hope you've really enjoyed this course. It's been a lot of fun to do. I hope it's given you some ideas, inspiration, and a little bit of guidance. And if you want more free lessons, there's over a hundred free song tutorials in my beginner's course where it's all structured from easy to hard and that can really fill in a lot of gaps for people and then we have a full beginner improving an intermediate syllabus which will get you up to being able to play any of these songs that you want to play that's all at andyguitar.co.uk and on the Andy Guitar app as well. Hope you enjoy all that guys best of luck with your singing and playing and strumming and I hope it's been a lot of fun for you I wish you all the best with your guitar playing in the future.